Hey, what's going on guys? Ryan Weber with Ryan Weber Training, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about adversity. How to overcome those difficult times, especially when the timing doesn't line up with what you want. Stay tuned. Okay guys, welcome back. So in this video you can see obviously it's a very different format from what I've done in the past, but we're gonna check it out. Kind of like a day in the life, just raw footage. You know, what really goes on. Nothing, uh, no fancy lights, no studio. I'm actually at work right now. You can probably see my uh, image in the background filming this. But I want you guys to pay close attention and let me know what you guys think of this format. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, ask questions, leave comments, let me know what you think. And we'll get on with it guys. Here you go. So I've been thinking, with um, trying to start any endeavor, there's really never a perfect time to start. Let me give you an example. So right now, I'm at home with my wife and son, and we're repainting the living room, right? So I got some paint primer on my head, some of my arms and everything. Well, we started painting the living room, okay? I had to prime because I had a dark blue living room. So it took several coats of primer. After several coats of primer, we went out, we picked up paint, we had about five or six paint samples. We figured we, we nailed it down to one, we started painting that color on the wall, and halfway through the job, we realized, you know what, this isn't right, this is too dark. Now, we did our due diligence, we, we thought we went back and we looked at everything as far as we got the right color, we're doing this the right way, we're under a time crunch because, you know, it's getting close to Christmas, we want to put the Christmas tree out, we're busy, we both work full time, we have a newborn son, you know, when are we gonna find time to do things? There's never a good time to do anything. Like, when do you start? If you don't start, you don't have to finish. It happens for so many people. The thing is, you just gotta do it. Quit making excuses, quit finding reasons why something won't work, and start to look within yourself and find reasons why something would work. When you turn on the TV, if you're watching the news, there's so much negative crap going on, whether it be social media, whether it be the news stations. It's like if you were to only read the newspapers, look at the news, you think nothing else is positive. You think everything's just negative, the world's falling apart, things are coming down around you. And I think people want you to think that way. When you feel like things are falling apart all around you, you have more of a weak mindset. When you have a weak mindset, you're easier to control. People want to be able to control you. They want to be able to put you in a little box. They want to tell you what's right for you. They want to tell you when it's the right time. They want to tell you when you do something wrong. They want to pretty much run and control your life. Because by doing that, it gives them power. It gives them power over your life and it takes away power from you creating what you really want in your own. So you may think, okay, Ryan, this is a little bit crazy. You're kind of going way off the deep end here. Think about it. Weak-minded people who cannot make decisions for themselves, okay? They will never get ahead. They're always kept small, they're kept in a box. They're not gonna be able to grow and develop to really be who they were meant to be. For someone who wants to have the most power and have the most control, it is really easy to manipulate or to control somebody who cannot think for themselves. If I tell you to do something and you really can't think for yourself, you're gonna go ahead and do it? Okay, there you go, I just took control. Now you may not think this is going on, but just slow down and take a look at what's going on around you. Because so many times, you, who knows? You just don't know what to do, right? So with today's workout, as I was saying before, there's really no perfect time to start anything. You want to make sure you take that to control. We're going to be working on several different muscle groups. We're working on the chest, working on the back, working on the shoulders. The idea is, Although maybe you have a weaker area or something you want to develop, we're going to make everything work together. You know, our time is now. Rather than waiting for somebody else to say, hey, it's a good time to do this, we're going to go ahead and just grab life by the reins, we're going to jump out our horse, and we're just going to full gallop, go down the road, go as fast as we can, and be ourselves. We're going to take back power, we're going to take back control, and we're just going to develop and create whatever the heck it is we were meant to do. So rather than waiting for the perfect time, waiting for somebody to tell you, yes, you can, no, you can't, just know that you have everything you need. You are more than enough. If you look deep down inside yourself, you have all the answers. Okay, don't wait for somebody else to say it's time for you to go. You just go ahead and start right now. Whether you're working on a project at home, whether it's the gym, whether it's your business, whether it's school, wherever you're at in your life. Just go ahead, make a decision, put the first foot in front of the other, and you will find your way. But if you stay small-minded, 
If you're waiting for the perfect time, if you're letting people say, you know what, not yet, now, now's not the right time, or here, follow me, do it this way, you may never get out of the situation you're in right now. So rather than wait for the perfect time, make your own time, all right? Come on guys, let's go. Okay guys, there you go, there you have it. Now don't worry, even though I'm at work, the total of filming that I did here was like 40, 45 seconds, so didn't miss anything, we're good to go, but I am gonna let you guys go, and until the next video, we'll see you then. Take care guys.